Hey everybody, I'm Steve from Hardtail Party. Today we're in beautiful Sedona, Arizona, reviewing my signature bike, the Stanton Sedona. I've had this bike in my possession for about a month and I haven't felt healthy enough to ride it yet. It's driving me crazy. Today I'm feeling just well enough to be out on the trails. I'm so excited to showcase this bike and show you what it's all about and why I designed it. There's a ton of info on my first look video, so most of the questions people are gonna have will be answered over there. A lot of bikes these days are really slack and meant for really high speeds, but I find that hardtails really are the most fun on mellow trails. They make mellow trails come alive. So instead of building this super slack and rowdy, I decided to make the geometry suit slower speeds to have fun on them. This trail's a little chunkier than what this bike was designed for, but in a minute we'll be on a smoother, kind of flowier trail. So I pride myself in having integrity and having unbiased reviews. This is not an unbiased review, it couldn't be. I designed this bike, but I value integrity more than selling as many of these bikes as possible. So I'm gonna be straight up. Now, a lot of you won't believe me because you don't know me, but those of you that have been watching for a while, hopefully by now I've been able to demonstrate that I'm not here to hype things up. I'm here to tell you what a bike rides like. This is a steel frame. Oh man, it's so good to be out again. It's been months since I've been on a bike. Oh. This bike is fun. The seat angle, needs to be steeper. I've slid my saddle all the way forward and it still needs to be steeper. This is the only Stanton Sedona in existence. It's the prototype. And so we got the seat angle a little bit off between our drawings and what they built. So that will be fixed. <laughs> this has super short 415 rear center. I did that because I'm not very good at manuals, but I like to do them. And I know that short chain stays make manuals and tight twisty maneuvers at slow speed more fun. So hopefully this can help me overcome my, ooh, that's easy to pop the front up. Overcome my lack of skill manually. That's something that just eludes me. Really easy to handle. This bike just goes where you point it. It's not overly slack. We built it to have room for extra long dropper posts. Go watch my first look video to learn more about that. I'm on a size 15 with a 200 mil dropper post. That's amazing. This bike came in a little bit heavier than I thought in my build, but it doesn't feel heavy right now. So I have two signature hardtails out right now. This brand new Stanton Sedona, which is for mellower trails, and the Binary Maniac, which is a shreddy bike. Both of them have super short chain stays and a super long dropper. And we're still able to maintain two water bottles inside the front triangle. This will eventually have a sliding dropout option and a UDH option if you want to go that route. Made out of 4130 steel. And we've got modern standards so you can swap your parts over from your current bike. Tapered fork, 316 dropper, threaded bottom bracket, boost just ready for you to buy just the frame and transfer all your parts over and have a blast. It's also designed around a 50 to 60 mil stem. So that means you want a size based on reach. So since we're running a longer stem, we reduce the reach because your bars are still gonna be in the same spot. So I would size it 15 mil shorter than your enduro bikes and then it'll come alive for you. I've now ridden over hundred modern hardtails in the past five years and reviewed them on this channel. If you ever want to pick my brain about the ideal hardtail for you, become a patron. That's a service I charge for, but I love helping people steer away from the wrong bike for them. I even help people with used bike classifieds. They'll send me links and say, hey, here's my budget. What do you think about these three bikes? And I'm able to weigh in and catch things that they would never have noticed. Another key element we wanted on this was a tall stack. I don't love being hunched over in race attack position. So I built a bike that suits my style, which is more upright. This is designed around a 120 mil fork. Sure, you can put a 130 on it, 
but it's meant for a 120. So this is more of the terrain that this bike was meant for. Oh, we've got a double CNC yoke on this bike that gives us stiff, whoo! Oh, oh boy. Oh, this thing loves to manual. <laughs> Whoa, that balance point comes sooner than most bikes. Oh, this is awesome. This is such a smooth riding bike. What a joy, man, it turned out even better than I was hoping. This is one of those bikes that's easy to ride. You don't need a super modern riding position. You don't need to really attack the front end and get your weight over the front like we do on slack bikes. What a special bike. Super easy to handle. Oh, it jumps so well, like a mini BMX bike. Oh my goodness. And then the saddle gets out of the way. Wow. Oh, steel is real, baby. Actually, not all steel frames ride awesome. There's only a handful of them that are truly special. This thing rides so good. Such a quiet, smooth riding frame. I don't need it super slack. I don't need the wheelbase super long and super stable. I'd rather have it playful so it can dance around a little more underneath me. If I was going much faster, I'd want a slacker, longer bike, but like I said, that's not what this was designed for. I think this bike's perfect for people who have a full suspension, shreddy, all-mountain enduro bike, but who want the boring trails in their backyard to be exciting again. And a bike like this definitely makes mellow trails. Woo! Oh man, this thing just loves to pop and play and get airborne and goof around. This is gonna be an excellent single speed. It sprints extremely well. I gotta give a huge shout out to Dan Stanton for all of his knowledge. We partnered together on this. I provided the geo, he provided the tubing spec and the yoke spec. And this yoke is perfect for this. Man, what a bike. Man, my downhill's almost over. This has been so fun. So yeah, I'm biased. This is not an unbiased review. I value my integrity more than selling a couple bikes. And anytime you do buy a Stanton Sedona, I make a little bit of royalty on it as one of the designers. Helps support my channel. It helps support people like me who are pushing mountain bike geometry and design. A lot of people will copy my geometry and go get a clone built somewhere else. You're only punishing the innovators when you do that. You spend a little bit more money and support the original designer so they can keep designing rad stuff. Oh, what a bike. It is way zippier than I thought it would be. But that stiff yoke, that stiff power delivery, and that supple rear end, what a bike. I'm so pleased to have my name on this model. Let's see how this thing climbs. Seat angle came in two degrees slacker than I wanted. It needs to be in the 76 range for how short the rear end is. Effective top tube is just a little long for me right now for how I like it. I'm not fighting this bike like the wheels are right under me. So smooth, so supple. And it doesn't feel flexy at all to me. So proud of this thing. So in my bike consultation service, I meet people from all over the world with all types of riding styles and tons of different needs. And my bike advice is unique for each rider. Where they ride, what their experience is, what makes a trail fun for them. And the biggest gap I've seen in the hardtail market is the everyday trail bike like this for blue and green trails. There's so many bikes that are still 69 degree head angle, XC, twitchy, sketchy. And then now we have 63, 64 degree head angle, slack, 150 mil enduro shred machines, but there's not a whole lot in the middle. And I really felt like there was a gap in the industry, in the market. And that's why I designed this. And as I've been ill and battling my chronic illness and my arthritis, I've been enjoying mellower trails more 
but not on my slack rowdy bikes on my everyday trail bikes like this it's, it's just so easy to ride this bike reminds me a lot of the gen 7 chameleon this is like that bike made out of steel with improvements easy to climb on whether it's a techie trail or you're just spin, spinning away on a fire road i think this is the bike most people need i feel like it's more fun to ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow and this bike likes to be pushed and if you did want to race an enduro on it throw in a minus two degree angle set for your enduro race slacking it out go have a blast and then put it back after your race for a great trail bike yeah this is one of the smoothest riding frames i've ridden it's not quite newhouse metalworks hummingbird smooth almost but not quite that bike's a little bit smoother but there's a lot of overlap between those two bikes that's another bike i absolutely love in this genre so where does this bike not shine it's not the lightest it's not the slackest and absolute rowdiest you feel that short wheelbase the faster you get going the more it reminds you hey i'm just a little hardtail take it easy with what's coming up oh i wish my health was 100 percent back but i'm so glad just to be out on a bike in the last year i've been on i think nine rides total my health has just been terrible if you want to follow my health journey i share that over on patreon and i've got a series on my other channel big brain party exploring alternate ways to get out on the trail despite dealing with chronic illness this has only been a 40 minute ride i'm totally gassed i've got no energy but my smile is a mile wide i love bikes i love being out in nature i love this stanton sedona and i'm so proud of it there's a chance if there's enough demand we'll do a limited batch in titanium of this when you're getting close to pulling the trigger or deciding on a bike become a patron i could definitely steer you toward a bike that would really really work for your terrain so there she is the stanton sedona in a totally biased review but like i said i value my integrity and i want you to know if this bike is for you or not before you buy one i'm not here to talk you into it but i am so thrilled with how it came out what a joy to ride and it does indeed make boring trails exciting again it's a little more capable than i thought it was it it does like to push the pace so you don't have to be a casual sunday afternoon type rider to make this come alive if, if you like pushing the pace but your trails closest to you don't have gnarly stuff give this thing a look i i think this thing's going to come alive on black diamonds no problem too it it i never came close to pushing the limit oh what a joy it's an amazing time to be alive Hardtails have never been better, and I'm so pleased to have my name on the Stanton Sedona. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you need bike advice, head over to Patreon. There's a party in the mountains, and you're invited.